We are live with Ready Row USA. Thanks for joining us. If you are joining us on the live stream, we welcome you and we ask you if you have any questions for our guest, Neil Bergenroth. Uh, you can put them in your chat function. And we wanted to let you know that we are also on audio podcast. So any audio uh, podcast app that you have, I think basically we cover them all. So that is on our website. This is our new website, readyrowusa.com. And at the, the purpose of the podcast is to uh, connect and collaborate with the rowing community. So we believe that collaboration is the new competition and that rowing changes lives. And that's kind of how we operate here. Uh, we, our audience gets personal attention to questions, comments, and episode suggestions. So keep those cards and letters coming in. And our sponsors and partners receive value that far exceeds, exceeds their ex investment. So you all uh, pay a little and get a lot. Uh, we love rowing. We love talking about rowing. We love advocating for inclusion and diversity in the sport and hanging out with rowers like Neil Bergenroth. Hi, Neil. How are you, Charlotte? Good, good. I'm, I've been waiting so long to, to have you back on. I know we had you on the podcast at the 2019 U.S. Rowing Convention. Yep. And yep, you were you were remote. Well. You were remote, remote then, but my friend Tara Morgan yep. of Steady State Network, I think she referred you to us and said yeah. you've got to talk to this guy because he's doing really cool stuff with technology and rowing. So um and teaching, learning, whatever. Uh let me just run through a couple of things. Uh we'd love it if you subscribe on our social media channels. So these are, you can find all the links to that at readyrowusa.com and uh, our Twitter is readyrowusa and we have Instagram as well. It's actually a little more complicated. It's ready.row.usa. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't get the regular, you know, without the dots, but anyway, I think you can find it. Um, we, uh, so Neil, um, I have to confess that I, my children exceeded my math knowledge at the, when they were in fifth grade, but I wish I'd had someone like you to, to, to break, you know, teach physics, math, technology. We didn't have too much tech, uh, computers then, but, <laughs> but uh, and science, it would have been great. Tell me a little bit about how you got interested in doing this and how you started developing your, your app that you're uh, working on now. Well, again, thanks for the invite and the chance to talk a little bit about this. Mm -hmm. um, the, the reason I started this was because I think the, the issue at the forefront of education these days is how do we make uh, the, the learning experiences that we're offering uh, are the students in our classes or, or, the, or the, the, the students, the, the student athletes that we coach, um, something of value, something that they can relate to, something that is um, applicable uh, in a real world scenario. And so it was a few, three or four years ago when we had completed a strategic plan at Tulsa Youth Rowing Association. And we, we shared that around and, and you know it was a good plan, um, but we shared it with a few people and the feedback we got was that um, it was really mostly about us rather than what about what we could do in the community. And um, mm -hmm. we have been we have been doing a lot of work uh, here at Holland Hall. I, I'm a science teacher here at Holland Hall, uh, and have been you know for the last twenty odd years. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work on diversity and inclusion. And I just kind of put two and two together. And you know, I, I sort of retired from competitive coaching in 2016. I was the head coach of Tulsa Youth Rowing Association for for about 16 years now there, and. Mm -hmm. um, really wanted to bring several things together, and that is accessibility to the sport, uh, but also my passion for science uh, mm -hmm. and um, for you know providing something that was a little bit out of the box, a little bit different. Uh, and so Grow Tulsa was born. And, um, 
And that is and our that outreach is, program. I'm sorry, that, that's the OK Rowing. Is that the, the website for that? Yeah, so the, our yeah, website okay. is okroaming.org. Uh, it's Tulsa Youth Rowing Association. Yeah. Um, we have a competitive team. We have a recreational team. We also have various outreach initiatives, which gotcha. now includes Erg Ed Grant and mm -hmm. also this Rowing STEM program uh, that, that we feature. Uh, and so we, we've, we're we partnered with uh, other organizations in town, such as the Opportunity Project. And it's probably my biggest piece of advice for people is if you're if you're getting into this accessibility and inclusivity and diversity piece, find somebody in your city who knows more about you, more about this uh, and connecting you know, with underserved mm -hmm. youth than, than you do. So, you know, we have partnered with very people we networked for about a year and then started a pilot program uh, at a school called uh, Nathan Hale Junior High, where I went in and we took six machines into the school and um, we ex we just yeah. we, we we developed relationships with those kids and um, now it was we have always some this slides. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. And now and we have some slides. So if you know, if you're on audio, these will be linked in the show notes. But if you're watching us, uh, just tell me what you want me to show, Neil. Yeah, so what we've got on the left of your screen is one of those kits that we send into schools. Um, okay. We have iPads that have been uh, donated to our program by Tulsa Public Schools. Um, also in these kits are things like heart rate monitors. There's goniometers, which is like a protractor mm -hmm. for measuring you know, joint angles in the body. There's batteries, you know, the things you would expect to find when you keep you know, keeping uh, concept two is in good order. And on the right side of the screen, we have, you know, the setup. Uh, and this is at a school called Will Rogers uh, High School here in Tulsa. And that's and, um, those, those iPads. Right. The iPad on the left. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we went, we went for about a year and I started to kind of develop uh, the, the curriculum, which I think is linked to in the show notes. There's a, a, a link to the Google Drive, which gives all of the different labs that we've been doing. And our mm -hmm. attitude is that this is open source. So if another club wants to take the work we've done uh, and, and you know, modify it, make it better, mm -hmm. you know, adjust it, uh, we just ask that they keep the attribution at the bottom. But all of these, fi all of these files are open source. And so yeah, after, I just, the, after sorry, I just wanted to mention that uh, my friend Stephen O'Connor at Fulham Reach Boat Club is it Boat Club? Anyway, in the UK was was commenting on that, and and uh, also another person in the Netherlands um, is interested because it was open source. So yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, this is this is all in the spirit of giving, uh, mm -hmm. and so. After I finished that first year, I started to dig into the programming aspect of things. I've done a lot of programming over the years, but particularly, you know, since I stopped, you know, serving as a head coach, I started mm -hmm. getting into other things that gave me a little bit more flexibility to work on this stuff. And I and I I saw the potential in that PM five on a concept two. And when you look at the documentation of all that, all of the information that it captures. Um, you know, and it, 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 it sort of derives a lot of values uh, from the rowing on the machine. I thought, hey, here is an opportunity for mm -hmm. kids to create their own data and take that to their math class or science class or these after school programs. And so I developed Rowing Step, which is uh, on iOS and uh, it's a free app. And we have a little uh, video of that, a clip. Or I think just, you do. I think. Should I just roll it? And uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want to roll that, we can take a look at it. Yeah, there, so this, it, won't, it won't have the audio, but yeah. That's okay. So this is our app. It's got all of the curriculum in it, which you can look at on an iPad. So you can imagine the kids on the machines looking at these things. This is accuracy and precision, which is a big topic in science. Accuracy is how close are you to the actual measurement. Precision is how clustered are they. Uh, the measurements together so you know there's a darts game on the concept too so it's a great tie-in a fun game um the force curve was something that really pulled me into creating this app because i couldn't find how to get those points off the machine and the force curve is a, a great example of uh, applied science in rowing something that as coaches we care about something as you know as science teachers we care about because you know the shape of the curve the area under the curve is impulse and so, you know, I basically developed this app that has all the curriculum in it. Um, it 
it essentially you know captures uh, data and things like that. Oh, the concept and, two goes through the iPad into the app. Right. So you you can moves. you can pair this up. I think mm -hmm. if you play, I think the video stopped, but I think if the video continues, you'll see yeah, um, just what. what Mm -hmm. What yeah, so what it's going to do here is this is us pairing it with the machine here. So we're scanning for the turn on the wireless on the PM5 um, and it's going to it's going to basically find that there's oh, the, there's see. there's yeah. the ID. We mm -hmm. click that and now we get this screen right here which is very sort of physics based uh, and then uh, I'm going to start to row on the machine and you'll see the force curve being created so that you can see it a little bit better than on you know, on the PM5. Um, oh, and so wow. what this what this oh, is yeah. doing mm -hmm. is is capturing about 17 different data points. So it's not just these things that you see on here. It's also things like the peak force, the average force. It captures all of those force points uh, in that. Mm -hmm. and, and again, it's they're not supposed to be absolute values. They're sort of relative, which is which is how concept two developed it. So again, these are derived values. You have to be careful about what you say is actually being measured. Yep. But I still think it's very valid uh, here mm -hmm. and a great way to, to sort of explain. This is how you row well. And if you row well and you get the feeling right, then the graph tends to be very smooth uh, and yeah. you know parabola-esque. I know there's lots of conversations about what a first curve should look like. I'm not gonna get into that today, but I think it's a great example of um, how to teach impulse uh, and have a kid really involved in different things. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so um, I don't so, know if we can go to the next slide or if you have another yep, question no, about no, that. I, I don't know at the moment. So w you started implementing this. Are you, is this just you're talking about the development phase or, are you, or is this actually from applying it in, in how long ago was that? Uh, I, the app came out uh, two years ago, okay. so it's kind of kind of it took took about six months to develop. In in this video, um, now that we've captured all of that data, uh, we the kids have the ability to use this screen to. It's a scatter plot, so there's seventeen different uh, seventeen different variables and things like that. Um, so you can change the X and the Y, and mm -hmm. then you can plot different things. So that, that is time versus power. So if you're talking about consistency, uh, that is time versus heart rate. So if you were, if the kids are wearing a heart rate monitor, now you can get into the exercise physiology uh, wow. with them. And so I just wanted to create kind of a sandbox for teachers to use this, coaches to use this, and and use it in a way that that would enable kids number one to understand science and math and data analysis, but also perhaps learn how to row a little bit better. And yeah. So, so you, I was wondering if that could, if it goes both ways, you know, like does does it improve the rowing? You know, like I I can see how it might. You know, like when you're looking at the concept two monitor, and you see your force curve is going like up at the end or something, you know, you have to do something different. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, that's cool. And so it's always it's always one of those things. And um, that video uh, towards the end, you'll see that you can export all of that data out of the app in a in an Excel format, like a CSV format, sort of towards the end of the video. Right. Um, and you can Grab save the image. The image. Oh, you can save cool. the image on the device. Now yeah. I'm exporting it. And this is the CSV, the comma separated values file. Yeah. This is all the data that that yeah. app has collected. And I just want to create something to expose all that data because, you know, other apps don't necessarily do that. And it just depends on the type of app. So, and then you um, can take a screenshot and uh, post it so your teacher can see that you've been doing your homework. Yeah, ex exactly. And growing. Um, <laughs> and growing, your coach and your teacher. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a really amazing. Um, let me see if I can get it back to. Um, oh, yeah. So this this is this is this is the if this gets kids really fired up about pulling hard and it also has the added value of teaching them some STEM. So this is uh, this is a little game inside of the app where uh, if you play it, the kids can get on the machines and it takes the watts, the current watts for the stroke, and it gives them a picture of the electrical device that they're currently cr creating enough power during their stroke to, so like, to, to uh, go. 
if you got like the switch, you know, that's really popular. Yeah. That Nintendo switch. Yeah. I, I bet yeah. they would really turn on to the, but you well, said that they like the blender one, right? Well, the blender is the top one, right? So wow. I didn't want to, I didn't want to set it to be something ridiculous, like 2000 Watts. And I, I don't know if anybody can do that. I got yeah. 300 Watts. You get 300 Watts, you get the blender. And yeah. some blenders do use 300 watts and the kids just go crazy for it because it's 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 in there. And obviously you, you surround this. It's not just the game. You surround this yeah. with the idea of what is the what, you know, energy yeah. per second, those kinds of things. Um, but it's very so. And I think on the next uh, on the next video, uh, we have actually got the kids uh, doing this. This was uh, uh, a group of kids um, I think it's on the next slide. This is a group of kids uh, right, at, at the ready? Tulsa Dream Center. All right. Okay. Yeah, we probably won't turn the sound on that. Yeah, but I there, do. you know, this is this is part of our outreach efforts, and and here they are on the ergs, and they are going to go absolutely crazy to try and get the blender on this. So you know, so we've given they them. They got that concept that they were powering a blender. That's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. And you, you can do things like I had at this school, we were having a back to school night and I sat a kid down on the machine and they hadn't quite gotten to you know speed, which is, you know, distance versus time. Mm -hmm. And so what we did was we did a little bit of slow rowing and we captured that data and then we kept going a little bit faster and then we went even faster than that. So we did a, a minute of each different pace from like slow to medium to fast. And then we pulled up, you can see it actually and the next slide is really yeah, good okay. for that. You can see that. Um, flip it through. Yeah, yeah there we go. Back. What can you power yeah. now? One click. Now the, one there more click. Go. There you go. There you go. So yeah. time, time distance graphs. So you can see here that on the right hand side, we've got this wearing it runs on an iPhone or it runs on an iPad. So you can run it on phones a little bit mm -hmm. better on an iPad because the screen's bigger, but you can see that the slope of that line is the speed. And so, yeah. you know, I think when we're teaching something, yeah, you know, kids can draw a graph because they can plot different things, but that can they explain like what the graph means? We're looking for a deeper meaning than that. And, and, and this kid, uh, by the end of the time we worked together, understood that when the line was steeper, he was going faster and he wow. could equate slope into something. Um, the picture in the middle is an activity where you see there are letters. This is a time distance graph and there are letters on it and each letter corresponds to something the coxswain is saying. So there's a whole packet full of like A, B, C and the coxswain is saying things like, oh, oh, look, there's another boat going by on the other direction. And if you look at uh, E on that, I think it's E on that graph, you can see where the two lines cross. That would be on this time distance graph, one going in one direction on the race course, one going in the other direction on the race course. And you could get kids to say, okay, what would it, what would the point on the graph be if the coxswain were saying that? Yeah, so that's again, amazing. It, oh, that is just great. It's, it's, it's like relates it to their actual rowing experience or. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's the picture on the the picture on the right is uh, I got invited down to work with uh, the the students of Hockaday School down in Dallas, Texas, who that's are one again, on the left, the yeah, it's one on the left, and we did time distance graphs. We did I did two freshman classes, uh, two ninth grade taught ninth grade uh, freshman classes, mm -hmm. and I also taught a AP Physics C class. So we went force curve with the advanced kids and time distance graph with the. Mm -hmm. with the uh with the ninth graders so uh it was a it was a, and and they're going to do this i just think today is the day they go and do their community service uh outreach project where they're going to go and bring machines into a school in the mm -hmm. dallas suburbs and and implement this kind of uh curriculum so that's exciting and so when you went down there in this i guess it's a girls class right right yeah did you get like the aha moment? I mean, that must be so cool when the kids like when you actually they, demonstrate it, teach it, and then they start discovering. Yeah, they they had a great time um, <laughs> because what happened after what you see on the left is we went back up to the classroom. I had mm -hmm. I had them in in pairs, and one student was 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 tracking the time and the distance. And they got you know four or five different data points, and then we went up to the classroom and we plotted that on a paragraph. Mm -hmm. 
and we talked about filling the whole page and putting units on the graph and titling the graph and mm -hmm. having a discussion about well what does it mean when the graph the line did this and they could they could bring mm -hmm. those those things together so when you're talking about you know uh kinematics and things like that it it was yeah. really it was really powerful and it was so great to go down yeah. and have the opportunity to 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 implement I this can, in a school i can imagine and um so if if you're you know if you're offering this to a teacher or a school like are they worried about how much uh, onboarding they'll need or startup time uh, to, to well i think work? i think one of the things we're doing is in these after school programs uh in tulsa public schools is i spend about two or three hours working with somebody on um you know the, the curriculum um you know mm -hmm. and there is a there is a bit of a a, a learning curve on it because you know there, there are several moving parts to it so it does take time and, and working with the teachers you know every month going to visit these uh going to visit these different programs kind of monitoring uh and you know i was exchanging text with uh, one of the faculty sponsors over at uh mm -hmm. will rogers and we were talking he was asking me well what kind of plots would make sense and i said well you've got time distance or you could you could have like stroke okay. length versus power to talk about mm -hmm. accuracy and precision i mean you can really mm -hmm. uh, you know, to present the data and look at the data in multiple different ways. So it's it's ongoing. It it does take um, it does take a little bit of time, but um, I think. And do you provide support for the schools, like if they adopt? Yeah, it? absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We do provide support for those schools. Um, I'm always ready to take a question from anybody who's mm -hmm. interested in implementing the curriculum. You know, as I said at, at the beginning, our attitude is that this this is a spirit of giving. This is something that potentially could could hook kids into the sport in a in a different way, and so we want to make it available to people. And that's why the app is free. It will always be free. That's why the mm -hmm. curriculum has been built. And I and I I don't think we're anywhere near close to where we could go with this curriculum. So it would be exciting if people. If we're watching this, who wanted to get involved in the effort and and write some curriculum, we could expand it and grow it as a community. And I think that's, you know, like you said, that's the new competition is working together. So exactly, this, yeah, this exciting, awesome. Well, uh, we have a few more slides and a few more minutes. But uh, do you want okay. me to? Is there any? What What is the alternative school? What did you do there? So the alternative school is uh, in Union Public Schools, which is another district here in Tulsa. Okay. And, um, you know, I got talking with somebody who was affiliated with them. I rolled a machine in, I set the iPad up, and the principal was like, I want this in my school because the, the alternative school is for kids who need a different pathway through education. Mm -hmm. And he saw this as an opportunity. There was something that would be fun, something that would be applicable that they could get into. So uh, there's about 145, 150 kids over at that school. So they did a, a, a smaller rollout last spring, about 40 kids. And now mm -hmm. we're expanding it. And um, I'm actually um, going to the rowing tank at the University of Tulsa on November 16th with some of these kids so they can take the next step. Oh, in terms of what's amazing. what's a rowing tank we could talk about some of this stuff because th these are potential yeah. you know pathways to getting the kids actually on the water um, well i think when so. people i know i'm this way when i learn things i need to see it applied you know yep. just looking at it in a textbook that's one aspect of learning but to me exactly. I'm, I'm just a real practical you know hands-on person i didn't study you know a book to learn podcasting i just Right. <laughs> you know, I just warts and all, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, we have another little uh, working with schools and growing clubs. Um, the next one is a video as well, right? Hello. Okay. What's What's the next video here? Um, on I this think one. It is. Yeah, this one. So that that's a video uh, that, that 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 you hear the kids talking about their experiences. So it's it's a couple of minutes. I don't know if we have time for it, but. Um, um, it might, let's see. Can you hear it through the? I can hear it, yeah. Even though that it's hard work, you can still have fun and make jokes and just 
be who you are, but also you're learning how to do something incredible. Oh my God. How rewarding is that? That's yeah, incredible. I mean, it was, uh, it was incredible. Great. So yeah, I think a, we, let's see, what can you power rowing stem? What can you power? I think we have some of them as clips we could show, but I'll put them definitely in the show notes and they're on your, yeah. your, uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, they're on the Tulsi Throwing Association YouTube awesome. channel, so yeah. you can check them out. I mean, um, high, highly recommended. These are just so moving. Yeah. And then these are the different uh, things they learn. Yeah, cool. And we're watching, the, this is the, is this the alternative school again or? Yeah, that's uh, over at Carver actually. Okay. That's another, um, another school we were working with a year or two right. ago. This is erg math. It's another app I've developed. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have any spare time? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I balance things. All right. I mean, again, yeah. it's one of those things where you're, when you're passionate about it, um, it it's not, I know. I know. it's work, but it's not really work. It's something it's, that, yeah. You know, when you when you want to get behind something and get it done, um, you know, I think anybody in the rowing world, you know, rowing is hard work, but we love it and we keep yeah. coming back for more and we love it. And that's just that's that's the yeah. fuel that keeps us going. Someone was describing it as uh, second level fun rowing because not not this stuff. What you're doing is a little sure indifferent, but, um, you know, like it's torture when you're doing it and then you're so glad you did it. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know? yeah. So there's another one. Um, I think we, we've got a one or we, two more slides. Sort of okay. where are we going with this project? Uh, I okay. think is a pretty good way to, to finish up to here. Finish up. Is this the, oh, this is the, uh, okay. That's the same video. Oh, Very that's, good. that's erg, erg math. Erg math is a game where you, where you, uh, you again, sync it with the uh, concept two. Right. And, um, you can choose what math operations you want to play. And then um, it, it gives you a math problem and you have to- Oh my to... God, that's raising my blood pressure as I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the great thing about erg math is you can do a 2K and math problem. So I mean, it's a complete winner, so. Can I just do simple addition? <laughs> yeah, the, they're simple addition, but it's, it's just the only okay. way you can move the character is if you oh my move, God. move the handle. Okay. So okay. Well, if you've got kids, who like to sit on the couch and play video games. Now you can get them on the erg. I've and, got to um, try that. Yeah. Get them to exercise. So, so this, this is our final future, slide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, I think if you're watching, you can see the potential of this, uh, mm -hmm. would love to get, you know, the, a website together that's, you know, devoted to rowing STEM discussion forums, those kinds of things mm -hmm. really build a community around this. Um, we're, we're looking into ways to, to fund our growth in outreach. And um, all of this right now is on the Concept2 machine, um, who, by the way, have been wonderful with their level of technical support. I was support. wondering if you I have to, done, I have you know, to, I have to give them credit for that. They have been, you know, even on the weekends when I'm like, I can't figure out what this code is doing, they'll, they'll write back and they'll say, so they, they have been so supportive of this, of this STEM effort in terms of a technical sense. That's great. Um, I was just wanted to add that I have started this thing on Ready Row USA called the Customer Service Hall of Fame. And they're one of the inaugural members because every time I contact them, you know, I'm just like a little old lady that does rowing. You know, I, they don't have to pay attention to me if they don't want to, but they are so gracious. And, yep. you know, it doesn't matter. I, they have millions. I don't know. Millions of users. I don't know. Like, hundreds of thousands probably. So I really, I really love that company. Um, and anything else you wanted to add about the future plans? Well, I mean, I think there's potential for many different directions here, exercise mm -hmm. physiology. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that you, I, I thought I've this thing thinking of, you know, okay, the kids go out in the boats, but maybe they collect water samples and they do some ecology or pH or mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's environmental science and um, lots of different directions. You can go, there's the physics, there's, you know, there's those NK orlocks you can put on the boats. Um, 
-hmm. You know, there's accelerometers, there's apps on your phone that you can, you know, look at the acceleration of the boat, like anything that engages the kids. There's just so much data in rowing that we can, we can capture. Um, and so, you know, this on the water is one of those things that hopefully over the next year or two, we can start to get into and just continue to grow this effort as a community. So, well, it's, it's really amazing what you've been doing. And I'm, I'm so glad we got a chance to catch up again. And uh, just, you know, anytime you want to come on and give a little update, uh, I'd love to have you. Are you looking for people to like help with the website or uh, of course funding might be helpful? Yeah, but I mean, funding uh, people who are, are passionate about, you know, rowing and STEM mm -hmm. and want to help this effort, want to see it grow. Um, you know, as I said, the app is available. It's free. Uh, the, 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 it will, this will, this is open source. It will always be open source. Um, it's designed to be built on. It's designed to be improved. And that's, you know, just the iterative design of, you know, how, how things grow. I mean, they just yeah. get better and you, you, you work out the things that are working, those that aren't. And I think that's a great lesson for kids to, to have as well as educators. So, yeah, well, if I, had a chance to go back to school. That's when my kids were applying to college. I said, can I just sign up? I, I'm ready to learn. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being on. You're, you're the best. I just believe in what you're doing so much and I would like to support it in any way, you know, that we can getting the word out or connecting you with people. And I hope this helps. Well, I, I appreciate the opportunity. So grateful yeah. for that. We're all at Tulsi Throwing Association. Very grateful that you've given us a chance to talk about what we're doing. Anytime. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to uh, close out with a little few plugs. My company is Pierce Press. Um, I'm going to mute you. Uh, you know. um, my company is Pierce Press. I produce Ready Row USA, Face the Book TV, and Puragaji podcasts, among uh, other things like book publishing. <laughs> uh, but getting back to the Ready Row USA podcast, we really want to cover your club or your rowing activity. We'd like to have you uh, just let us know what you'd like us to get the word out about. So like Neil's um, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, what else are you doing at your club? there's a form on the, in the show notes, it'll be linked in the show notes. And um, we'd love to have you just send it in and get, get our attention. Um, the other thing that we do is uh, periodically do a gadgets and gear special. If you have a rowing, any, if you have a, any kind of rowing gear from uh, boats to, uh, I don't know, some little attachment that helps you with your rowing, let us know what, what, uh, what that is that helps you. And again, you'll find all the information at readyrowusa.com, all the links, this, um, this podcast with Neil Bergenroth and uh, all the links that you need to get more information. Thank you so much. Once again, Neil, I'm gonna unmute you and just say goodbye. You're the best. Thank you. All Thank right, you. take care. Appreciate you. Bye.